So uh, this video is about uh, technology readiness levels, and uh, so first of all, uh, we we are uh, using this terminology so that you understand what is the level of maturity of your idea at certain stage, and uh, this will also help you guys to identify the next big important milestone or the important thing that you should uh, uh, you should consider for a. consider for the next milestone. So uh, the technology readiness levels uh, start from PRL 0 and it goes up to PRL level 9 where uh, KPIT Sparkle uh, deals with uh, technology readiness level 0 to technology readiness level 5. Now uh, we'll just discuss on um, the whole uh, till TRL 9 so that you understand what TRL mean. So uh, if I see that uh, uh, first of all, uh, there has to be a problem statement, a valid problem statement on the basis of which you have some idea to propose. So this is at TRL 0. At TRL 0, basically, uh, the, these are unproven concepts. Uh, you have ideas of uh, providing solution to some valid problems. What is, what, how did you know about this valid problem? You did a market research. You actually went to some customers. How did you go to customers? So uh, you did it through either physically go visiting them or through some forms which which uh, you have uh, curated to understand what the problem is. And the customer has given you some feedback uh, stating that this is a real problem. So you have identified a problem statement. So that is the level at TRL zero. You are at this level. When you go to the next uh, TRL level, TRL 1 is more about basic research where uh, now uh, you know what the need is, the need of the R is, but uh, you don't have any much evidence. So what is the evidence? Evidence is basically related to the, the customer telling you about certain problems which are there with the product or the service which is currently available to them. And now what you are doing is basically researching on what new you can you can develop or what new you can propose to solve this existing problem. Now uh, the next very important thing uh, that is that is done during the TRL one is you need to have some team. It's more about team. Now uh, when you look at the uh, the technology readiness level uh, one. You need to have, uh, you will come across, uh, so any product, take any product or a service, you'll find that it's not just in one domain. So you'll find that uh, there are uh, multiple skills which are required. So need, it need not be that you, uh, you uh, get along with only your friends to form the team at KBIT Sparkle, but it is, it is allowed if you are going, uh, going across colleges, you, you're going across states, it's all allowed to form a team because you may be knowing someone who is good in some some stream which is which is uh, important to solve that problem so a, a multidisciplinary team is what is required at when you are doing a basic research so at trl1 so the mo moment you are at trl2 the technology form formulation starts happening now what is this technology formulation Technology formulation is where you are putting up some concepts and uh, some applications which you, you, have, you have formulated, how to do it, how to make this technology viable. So you only have a thought over here. It is like you have you have the problem, the you have identified the problem, you came up with some solution you thought is good. Now you are actually working on concepts and the technology formulations so this this is the trl level 2 when you go to the next trl which is which is uh, uh, understanding the need validation need is basically so there are there are certain things that you'll have to uh, you may say uh, 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 understand if the stakeholders are are agreeing to what you are saying 
so for example i will say that unless there is a product market fit you will not be able to sell your product in the market so there has to be a, a need created in the market due to some kind of a problem which is there with the existing product or service and then you come up with the new solution which is very different than what is what is available in the market and this new solution needs to be a fit in the market so there are certain things which happen at tier 3 for example you have this value proposition canvas which you which you propose at tier 3 also you need to have some kind of a business canvas which is a one pager uh, definitely this this will also help you to understand if this is a viable thing to do further or it is just a a uh, thought uh, so uh, the the next stage what you do is at tier 4 you do certain things like virtual prototyping now what is virtual prototyping you are given licenses the moment you premiere yourself at tier 3 you're given some licenses and these licenses are uh, so through our partners we are providing you these licenses which allow you to to first analyze your product or service in a computer environment now why the computer environment it is because uh, anything that you do on a computer can be changed the geometry can be changed the specifications can be changed you can run multiple iterations on the on the computer program itself to understand what is the most optimized solution now you are coming towards converging towards the most optimized solution for the product or service at tier 4 now what is this tier 5 at tier 5 you are saying that you now are at a stage where you have a large scale prototype so this prototype that you have made you are going to make is having all the inputs of all the iterations and the reports and whatever you have done in virtual prototyping it has been validated and uh, you have applied boundary conditions you have applied the loading you have applied the different parameters on on to the uh, computer generated model first and then analyzed for the, it being the optimized solution now this optimized solution is is ready to be prototyped in one is to one scale so this is the stage that you are now going to uh, get a lot of mentoring and a lot of support from our team because we will be the moment you are at tier 5 you are at a level where we provide you with the the mentoring the one to one connect with industrial mentors who provide you enough data on the feasibility of the product so any product needs to be feasible to, to it needs to be feasible for manufacture not just manufacture it should also have a lot of uh, you may say uh, prove uh, it it should also be proven through a lot of testing and certification so all these things require you to have the holistic uh, you may say knowledge of not just the subject but also the the product that you are working with so uh we will be uh, talking of trl 6 to trl 9 and uh, till trl 5 you have the large scale prototype which you have already made and uh, it has been tested in the intended environment now this trl 6 to trl 9 happens basically at the incubation center and uh, incubation centers are are uh, the places where basically you get a lot of support from the government in the form of some kind of funding to take your your idea to the next level of a commercial prototype now how do you do that is uh, at tier 6 the prototype system that you have has been tested in the intended environment close to the uh, expected uh, you may say uh, uh, performance now what is this expected performance is basically it means that uh, so there was there were certain things like uh, uh, some some parameters that you need to needed to fulfill uh, and this has been achieved uh, at tier 6 now at tier 7 uh, you have a demonstration system where uh, you you are uh, operating 
in operational environment which is at a pre commercial stage uh it it would it would be something where uh, you are able to to uh, uh, maybe the system is matured enough to get a status of uh, commercial application and uh, at year late that becomes the same system evolves to become the first uh, of a kind commercial application a uh, commercial system which can be applied and uh, uh, at tier 9 what we say is the stage is where you have a full commercialization and uh, you are uh, ready to to go to the market so this is the these are the broad stages from 6 to 9 which is covered in an incubation center thank you